Hey everyone, it's Angela Irene with Aged Goodness and I'm here with my daughter Lauren again and we're going to continue on with the 20 pound box of Bohemian Jewelry out of Wisconsin. So this is part two. We're just gonna keep rolling. We have a metal stretch bracelet or a metal bangle bracelet. It's pretty out of shape. I think he's brass. We can probably move it around a little bit. Oh, we have that one already. My piles are sort of blending together. It says a little horseshoe and blue stones. Doesn't look like turquoise to me. All right, let's see. Oh, this is a cute little enameled heart. Got a muted green, almost a yellow, and then this enameled heart. Don't see a mark. It's magnetic. That is adorable. That is really cute. And a cord. We've got the little, looks like an artisan made pendant with shell. Another little fashion stretchy. Another little corded bracelet. I think we're going to have a lot of those in here. This looks like a choker. This look at my carved stone. A little barrel clasp, very cute. Here is a shell bracelet in some really nice colors. We have quite a few of these, but not in this color, in this color palette by any means. They're more natural, so that's nice. Oh, and we have a second one. So <laughs> take your pick. Another little fashion. This one does say something. Let's take a look at that. Sergio Lub. Looks like California. At least that's what it looks like. Let's look one more time. Yeah. Sergio Lub, California. So we will take a look at that one see what all that's about. This looks like a watch bezel. <laughs> I'm going to put that in my little junk thing off camera. The little shell and little tiny bead earring. I haven't found too, too many earrings. Here's another little chip, stone chip bracelet. I think this was a pendant off of something, or that's a really cattywampus earring. Either way, we could probably repurpose him. Okay, this guy does look like that necklace we had previous. Let's we'll see if we don't have the match to that one. A feather and silver tone earring. Oh, we've got wooden beads and, and uh, it's not really magnetic. Now that is a night. We have we have a lot of crosses, but nothing in this kind of configuration. Wow, that is a, that is a lot of weight. That is many, many, many strands. Nice fashion piece, nice colors. Reminds me very much of like Mardi Gras, these colors. Okay, this guy is a little bent. It's on cord. Looks like, looks like the stones are all there. Very nice piece. Very fall. Lots of fall colors. That 
is a wooden multi-strand fashion. Okay. And that is a nice big shell on a nice big piece of wood. We've got some plastic beads, some wooden beads, and little pieces of leather cording. Ooh, now that is heavy. This looks like enamel on brass. This, the, I don't, mm. You know what, I, this could be that malachite. I don't think this is enamel. This could be malachite inlay. I'll keep this one over here. That is a nice, nice weight. Are we missing something on this? I think we are, we're missing an end. That's too bad. A lot of weight here. Got a lot of stone, little stone beads. We've got some very heavy metal pieces, but we are missing the end on this side. Hmm. Well, if nothing else, we got ourselves some really pretty beads. Looks like an artisan made flower pin. I do not have the patience for this whatsoever. Beautiful. It is just not for me to actually sit down and do it. We have another wooden bead bracelet. We have a very nice, oh, I see a mark. What is this by? Oh, Premier Designs. the faux turquoise and the silver tone beads. It has a nice weight. I think somebody would really enjoy that. We have a fashion necklace which is pretty long, which is magnetic as all get out, and filthy. So, so we got that. This is a cool plastic bracelet. I love the shape of that. That is really neat. I'm gonna put him over here. Someone made a pendant, or a pin rather, out of a shell. Clever. We have a fashion ring. I don't see any marks, but it looks like we've got some base metal showing through. But so it's got a nice presence to it. Oh, shell inlay. Pretty. Oh, nice. Okay, so we did end up with that other earring. Very nice. I don't see a mark in here, but it's a shell. It's like abalone shell inlay. Pretty bracelet. I'll put that one over here too. Yes, so we did end up with the set with the two glass piece earrings. And then the, the pin. That is a beautiful set. Oh, those are lovely. And it's a designer. Or at least it's somebody. Let's see. Again, not with not with my own eyes. Oh, it's Monet. Wow, that's the second Monet piece. I think they put it in here because the colors matched. Look at these. Look at these glass beads. Oh, that's stunning. Stunning, stunning. Oh, that's going on this side. Oh, that is cool. And these look like they're, oh, dang it, we're missing one. Okay, we're gonna have to look for a stone <laughs> at the bottom of this box, hopefully. <coughs> it's got a great present on these little cords. All right, nice. That is heavy. And we're missing one of these little doodads. Okay, a lot of wooden beads, and it comes down to this pendant, but we're missing one of these little guys. So we will have to take a look at that. 
hopefully at the bottom of the box something will pop out every box even the bohemian box has a one of those illusion floating necklace deals but this one is actually in pretty good shape usually they come out really bent so not bad beautiful color for fall <coughs> we've got some plastic pieces the limited so the pendant and the drops these are all uh, plastic but the chain is nice so we've got that magnetic got a very nice little <coughs> wire wrapped I think that's a piece of I don't know what that's a piece of it's not a piece of glass I think this is a stone I'd have to look when we have time we'll look we just have to keep moving so we can get through as much for you as we can I'm trying to keep the videos at a normal you know 30 minutes if we can it's just a little fashion piece. Okay, and then this is so long and so many strands. All of these beads, so there's three, there's four strands and all of the, I mean, this is long, look at this. So you've got ceramic beads and you've got wooden beads. This would be great for fall, too. Okay, everything is a little catty with this. Nicole by Nicole Miller. Very nice. Okay, it's a little... A little, little shimmy shake. Multi-strand. You know, I'll undo it and kind of move things around a little bit, but that is a nice looking piece. That'll go over here. We have a little brass earring. Little suede cord. It's missing one little drop. Hopefully the bottom of this box has a little bit of ins and outs down there and hopefully we can find some of a hair up. has some of the things that you know we're missing that happens a lot this looks like adventure very pretty nice and cool to the touch like that very much okay this is heavy 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 I'm not sure this looks like mosaic on brass. Okay. Is this tiger's eye? That sure does look like it. Wow, is this a heavy piece. And no designer name. Interesting. Okay, so we've got metallic beads. We've got black glass beads nice big tiger's eye beads look at those and it just keeps going so that is nice look at that beautiful i put that on this side too loving that okay multi-strand bracelet and does have the little glass bead as its closure. I can't get it closed at the moment, but there you go. <laughs> it's late. We probably should have opened this box up tomorrow, but you know what? The box has been here. It's been calling to us. Now it was the first opportunity we had to open it, so we jumped on it. And these have adorable little glass purple beads. And then it goes to silver beads, silver tone beads, more glass. Then we come down to a few stones and then we end up with this little glass piece at the bottom. Hmm. 
well, nothing doesn't, you know, nothing is sticking. So we'll check that out. Is this another hot mess? What is with the hot mess? Okay, we're not going to worry about the hot mess now. We will worry about the hot mess after. All right. Lots of seed beads, lots of plastic beads, lots of uh, gold tone. Nice. I'm sure it'll be beautiful once we're done. There's a cute little glass earring. Hopefully we find the other one. Multi-strand, we've got silver tone with leather cord, suede cord. All right, this is usually what the, <laughs> the illusion necklaces look like when they come out of these boxes. This matted, mangled mess. And these are all plastic. So that's that. Here's another one. A little leather bracelet. I will take these. These are great little shell and uh, silver tone beads. But like I said, that is destroyed. We can't do much with that, but I can take them for beads. Just a cute little fashion, very lightweight. All right, we have stone, glass, nice little carving down here. Very nice. I know I'm getting the look that I'm going to be sick anyway, so. Little fashion, really tiny. <coughs> hey now. More little tassels, a lot of tassels. A little stretch, not a ton, but a little. Oh my. That was perfect. Well, it's not now. <laughs> now it's hooked to something else. And they are honestly hooked together at this point. And now it's hooked to something else. Okay, well this clasp is broken. So, and now it is I don't know how these are hooked, but it's one of those magic tricks, you know, where you've got the two things like this, and mm -hmm, it's that way now. So we have this one, these guys are plastic, and then we have this one, and these are gold tone. With... Yeah, they feel plastic too. So we'll have to work on this pair. Okay, seriously, this is what we're, what we're dealing with now. that came off. I'll give this back to you. These are fish. These look like resin with a little drop. And that's at the end. <coughs> These look like little glass beads that are woven into the design. Okay. Wooden beads. We've got kind of that brass tone chain. Every box, including the Bohemian box, has one of these. We have them in every box. This is actually nice. It feels good. It doesn't feel like anything is kind of poking out from its uh, setting at all. Oh, I really like this. Let's see if there is a name anywhere on it. No. Oh, that's heavy. I'm going to say these are glass. And it looks like all the rhinestones are there and with a really nice little, wow, really nice little um, matching tassel. Okay, I really like this piece. It's got to go over here too. Okay, we've got a paw print. And 
one. Oh, the name escapes me. But fashion, um, silver tone, but I forgot what the name of uh, the little hand is. Hey, oh, we have this earring. All right, so we have this pair. Like I said, we didn't end up with too many pairs out of this group. Wooden beads. This is just a really long, very lightweight fashion. Okay, this is an earring. Big earring. Haven't seen anything like that, so we'll go on our singles. Wow, this is a very different chain. Do we have an end? Yes, we do. Okay, this is the... It has two lobster claw clasps, so I'm thinking this is probably off of a shirt. But it looks kind of look sort of, I don't know, zebra-like with the uh, decoration on each of the little pieces. So that is really neat. And we've got wood and stone and wood and stone and wood and stone. A lot going on with this one. It's pretty heavy. This is an actually, uh, actually a very heavy piece. This looks like a matching bracelet to one of the hot mess necklaces that we have to take care of. So it looks like we probably have a matching set of that. Oh, we have that one. Okay, so we have these. This is a nice big pendant, nice big stone. Uh, the setting itself is pretty inexpensive with that silver tone flaking off, but the stone is nice. Like that, very nice. have a pin. I think everything is there. Interesting. Okay, I'm not sure what this is carved out of. Looks like resin. Feels like resin. <coughs> so it looks like an elephant that's carved and wooden beads. This has a little, little teeny, teeny. Oh my gosh, look how teeny that little name tag is. Yeah, now I need my loot for this one. There is no way. Oh, it's Avon. Okay, so it feels very plasticky. It's a nice Avon piece. We'll put, put this guy over here. Some beautiful glass beads. Very nice. I, you know, I know we're kind of low energy today. I am trying really hard not to be sick. Lauren still is sick. We just couldn't help ourselves. Uh, these are wood, little wood beads. All of these are stones. And it kind of looks like a chalcedony, and uh, some I just don't know what some of these are. But same, this end of the belt is broken. But it doesn't mean that you couldn't snip these apart and make these as individual pendants. There, it's not marked. Looks like a lot of the colors fading through. But, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could probably pop all these stones out. But that is one big, massive piece. And this is another one of those kind of destroyed bracelets from the beginning. Hey, 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 we have this one. Still trying to be attached to that one. <laughs> Yes, we have the two moons. Kind of a cord with the little tiny 
white beads. Oh, a really destroyed little ring. Ew. No mark. A little fashion metal bangle is, you know, a little cuff. It's, mm, it's it has seen better days. And this box is, is a little dirty. And we've got wood and glass beads. Looks like someone made this one. Just has that look to it. Okay. Even in the Bohemian box, we've got puka shells. But at least it's dressed up with some probably glass beads. I think these are glass. And they made a little drop. Very cute. There's this earring. Okay, so we did end up with a couple of pairs. Not too many, but we'll take we'll take them. People love earrings. Well, those are pretty. Oh, hair. Ugh. I've got it with hair. Sorry. Those are cute. Again, in the orange realm going to be very popular right now. And we've got these little stone. These look like wine charms. And then these are, these look like the orange earrings, but in purple version. These are definitely stone. Heavy, heavy, heavy pieces. They're not metallic, but they have more of a pewter look than they do a silver look. But a nice pair, nonetheless. Yay, this does match. Matches this one, and it does, I, I believe these match that really pretty multi-strand green one we had in the beginning. Little cross, these are probably little earrings. The tops are gone. We'll have to see if we can't find them. Okay. Right. Little fashion earring. Oh, good. We have this little pair. You know, it has that fashion backing. Uh, I think we have that one. If we did, I think I've covered it up. Here's another one of these. Oh, well, these are just little charms. I think maybe maybe there was a bracelet in the bottom of this. I, we had this one, too. That one I can still get my hands on. Oh, good, you did find it. All right, so we have this little pair. And this little pair. Totally adorable. The single. Oh, we had this one. Yes, we did. Here it is. He's loving something else. Hold on. Okay, so we did have this pair. Very nice. He needs to go with our singles. He's missing a stone. We'll have to look in the bottom. See if we can't find something. Here's another ring. Again, we've got base metal showing through. Er. But still, the top looks pretty good. <coughs> okay, what what is on the top? <laughs> okay, a little wooden stretch. Wow, was this heavy? This looks like a big old piece of copper. Look at that. Oh, it's got some weight. This is part of an earring. Stones have come off. Hmm. You know, I don't see anything right now. It's not magnetic. Could be pewter, but it has a great feel. It's got a great look. I will certainly 
be taking a closer look at this one. This is missing a stone from the back. Looks like a cat's eye. It's fashion, it has that, you know, those little lined backing. But at least the little stone certainly looks to be tiger's eye. We have this earring. So we have the two of these. A little shell, a little stretch. Nice, that's got a great look to it. Little. These look like glass, little chip bracelet. Now this one looks um, kind of looks homemade, but it definitely has the amethyst in there and some silver. Not sure what they're supposed to be, these little silver pieces, but that's very adorable too. <coughs> this piece, my little fashion, a little tiny cord. And this, again, has the same kind of marking that this does. So I'll have to take a look and see what exactly that says, if we can. Here's an elephant. Again, he's got that fashion backing. So here's the little elephant. That's cute. Little tassel necklace. This is broken off of something. Looks like there's a bee and a leaf. So I'm not sure what he's broken off of. He's plastic, he's plastic. Obviously the little bees metal. I'll take all three of them off. Use the charm. Oh, we have that one. Still can find it. Here we go. Multi string. Oh. What is? Wow. Okay. That has a very short. It has a very short drop and then a much longer drop. So we've got some beautiful glass beads. We've got more glass beads up here. These look like um, how light. And then a great little, oh, we're missing some rhinestones out of here. Darn it. This, <coughs> if we can't find them in the bottom, these are going to be my beads. Nice big plastic piece. These are huge plastic beads. Look at all these beads. Uh, no maker, no designer mark. Nice big chunky plastic. little carved bracelet and this is the last piece honey mm -hmm. wow okay we went through this box fast these have some glass and no i think all of these might be glass beads the cord you know obviously the strands don't look like in the greatest shape i'll probably harvest the beads so we had some interesting pieces. There wasn't, you know, this box wasn't a ton. I think a lot of that weight was in that belt, which is beyond heavy. I love this plastic, really chunky, funky bracelet. That is awesome. We'll check out what on earth these two say. Find out what on earth this is. But the rest of it, a lot of glass. But it was great to see something different, something funky, something unusual. So. Again, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for commenting and subscribing. We really appreciate it all. Um, we have one more box coming, and we're going to go back to North Carolina for that box. But th So this is the Bohemian box from Wisconsin. I think we did okay. Thank you again so much, and we'll see you next time.